Ajikar. Mamasa git to the pit mom, nakalimot ko mo ba? Pwede yung topic, di ba? Ano, dairy? Yes, ma'am. Cattle and buffalo, ma'am. Oh my God, that was two weeks ago. So, wait lang ha, tanansan ako. <laughs> tanansan ako. Yeah. Last na topic we had. Click lang tong link, pre. Ha? Tong link ba? Link, click lang to. Wala to sa mo, ha? Ansong link ba? Wait lang. Ansong link? Uh, wala, bre. Kalimot yung gudo. Ako saan gina-review on permanent care. Um, dairy housing, o tayo mo, ha? Brooding. Ang less na ano dali topic is brood. Ano, 314 man to, ma'am, no? Animal health, yeah, ma'am. Animal health ba yung muha, ano, Lance? Cattle and buffalo. 314 ba ito, ma'am? Ano sa na topic, ma'am, 314? Ano sa na topic, ma'am? Um, any topic na lang kasi nag ano ta eh nag nag start kami ni Kier no sa animal health and then si Ruel nag nag report po siya sa animal health animal health unsa ba 31 Asa ko dire man kanang 313 Yeah basta kanang Ayun na lang sa sa 314 man siguro kala adi isagi ka Lands 314 314 ka sa dairy, cattle, and buffalo. Oh, kanina lagi mo. Dairy housing at ako lands. Kadalit ba na ako? Ah, sa ano ka? Ano ka lands? Um, dairy... How, uh, wait lang. So, uh, Nag-start ka sa housing of dairy, cattle, and buffalo and nag-end nag ka sa Hindi lang mo mo. 314 mo mo? Yeah, 314. Mom, wala mo ko yung link ka naman. Pwede ikaw na lang mo. Ah, sige, sige. Ako na lang. Hindi na ako makita. Sa ako na lang mag-share, ha? Okay, ma'am. the horning or um yeah like this budding uh apt 314 wala wala pa na ako na 314 man to no yes ma'am 314 dari tasa housing and management Loading pa siya kanya kung kuha. Okay lang mamay, samot na akong cellphone mam. 
And um, by the way, pwede ma'am pud mo mag, ano, naha. Pwede pud mo. Wala, wala pud ko ka-review, no? Bago lagi kong mata. Ay, nara. So, uh, six. Dari ka nag-end. Nakita ni mo. Uh -oh. So, dari ka nag-end sa dehorning or disbonding. So, we will have on page seven. So, um, I think you will be ready now. Okay. Uh, ako lang sang iano ha. Pag ako ang sana ako. Okay. Uh, okay na ka, Ane? Yes, ma'am. Sige. Yeah. So, good evening, guys. Good evening, ma'am. So, feeding management. Utensils in which wool milk or milk replacer is fed to calves must be cleaned and should be cleaned after each feeding. See, severe digestive upsets can result from contamination of feeding parts. So, every time maghuman o kao ng ano, calves is kailangan limpiuhan o as may isanitize yun. So, para dili mag-contaminate ang ilang pagkaon. So, either the nipple pail or the open type bucket It is factory for feeding milk or milk replace. A calf from nipple pail to drink from an to blow on a calf. Magnus, madide sa nipple. Kaysa sa drinking pail kay ang drinking pail is masubran sila og inom kay open man siya to mag cause og digestive upsets. To teach a calf to drink from a pen pail, place your finger in its mouth, and after it's starting to nurse lower, starts to nurse lower its head into pail of a warm milk or milk replacer. Ay mali rin guys, natudluan da yung ano, ang calf. Pag tudluan o para sa open pail is ina, ikuwanin mo imuhang kamot siya hamba ba. So, magsugo na dito, dito na mag-inom. So, it may be necessary to repeat the process several times. So, a stubborn calf may be need to be hacked, to be back into a corner and restricted by standing aside its neck. So, kailangan ni patience yun ka kayo. Ang uban is gahig ulo. Dili yun makasabot ba? So, piti mo ang iyan ng ulo. <laughs> I, basta kato lang ang finger ni mo, ipakuha ni mo siyang ba, ba para makatbalo siya. So, maintaining the temperature of the milk as removed from the cow is not necessary. However, it should be aimed to feed the milk at this temperature itself. However, cold milk, cold milk at 35 degree to 40 degree ano, Fahrenheit may cause calves to shiver and chill. At any rate, calves should not be overfed. So, kailangan ng kuhan so care and management of heifers. Heifers, ma'am, heifers. Kalu. Heifers, ma'am. So heifers are either related. I. So ano, ma'am, care. So. Heifers are either reared indoors or outdoors for 9 to 12 months. So in case of outdoors, rearing protection must be given from the adverse climatic condition. Rain, hot sun, snow, heavy winds, beating flies, parasitic infestation, etc. So heifers of exotic breeds performance is slow in tropical areas in in the outdoor. So, yun na yung ano, uh, performance sa breed sa ano, tropical na area. So, small breeds attain age at first breeding in 15 months and large breed in 18 months. So, adequate 
live weight would be 200 to 225 kilograms for smaller breeds and 275 for the larger, larger breeds for breeding. So, kailangan matin ano yan, ano, guys, na weight. So, crossbred heifer show signs of heat as early as 10 months of age. Um, but none of... Ilang lands. Sorry, Kayo. Humala din mo niya ng topic. Gani, ma'am. Na, kuha niyo ko. Maglisa mo ko. Gano'n, ma'am. Sorry. Um, Naana ka sa end sa actually... Um, balance ration man ata na eh. Itlang ha. Actually, it's ready. So, um, do you have any questions? Maglisa. Sa nutrition, dahi ka. I'm sorry. Hello, ma'am. Nabukas ako ng ano. Eh, next, next na dahi, no? Nutrition na ata ta. Lahi mo daw nakita kasi. Yan yung mamlik. Layo na dito yung mamlik. Hapit, murag hapit na ata ito, ma'am. Ganit, no? Ah, na. Dari na ka, actually. Ah, wait lang. Wait, so. Sige, start. So, nutrition involves various chemical reaction and psychological process which transform food into body tissue like milk, meat, egg, or wool. And activities like work proper, nutrition involves in ingestion, digestion, and absorption of the various nutrients and their transport to all the body cell. And the removal of unusable, unusable elements and waste products of metabolism. So nut nutrients are defined as the substances which can sustain or aid in the support of the life. So the voice, sir. Lavoisier is a French a scientist is referred as father of nutrition. There are two aspects in animal nutrition. The science of nutrition, so it is work of animal nutritionists and the art of feeding animals, so good stockmanship. Feed or, or feed ingredients that supplies high level, high level of major nutrients but contain less than 18% crude fiber are called as concentrates and those having more than 18% crude fiber are classified as rough page. So, murag na, ano na ito ni so una guys, no? So, kay Sir Panya ata, no? So, concentrate containing higher than 18% protein are called protein-rich concentrates. Ano? 18% concentrates and those having done more than 18% dela man wala ang aso protein rich concentrate so while those containing less than 18% are called energy rich rich concentrates so the ration so the ration is the feed allowed for a given animal during a day of 24 hours so balance Balance ration. Balance ration which provides essential nutrients to the animals in such proportion and amount that are required for the proper nourishment of the particular animal. So, the desirable characters of uh, ration. So, liberal feeding. So, satisfy all the psychological status plus weight in preparation plus feeding not overfeeding and dub doubly wasteful. So the individual feeding is ano, 
avoid competition. So, ilalaya jud. So, adequate Individ- individual feeding is always better. Okay, mag ano? Mag maglumbaan na yung kaon ba mas luoy ang anong week so mas mayo is individual so properly balance concentrate so the roughage so A green father leguminous and non leguminous leguminous father B dry father so Number four is palat- palatable and variety. Better and balanced mixtures of protein, vitamins, and other nutrients. So, kabila na maguro tayo na, no? So, mas mayo, mas dagan ng vitamins, so, guwapo na nutrients. So, good and sound. Low quality and wholesome ingredients may contain toxic components. Poor quality, so, reduce feed value. Mineral mix- mixture. Every kilogram milk is zero point seven percent plus may metabolic disease grams and two point seven grams. So laxative. Otherwise, food will be completely digested. Constipation, digestive disorder. Utilization, utilization, nutrients affected, reduction in production. So number eight is bulky, capacious and satiety, So no green fathers. So source of vitamin A. Or ano, reproduction bulky. And laxative. So, cost-wise, cheap. Identified factors, easily digestible. So, dali rin siya man, no? Digest, so. Avoid change in diet. So, bacterial digestion. Prevalence, prevalence of specified species. Sudden change and digestive disorder. So, 11 is maintain regularity. So, glandula, glandular secretion is ano, essential for digestion. Number 12 is prop, properly prepared. So, hard grain, coarsely ground, cotton seed soak, uh, coarse fodder, chaff, Sprinkled salt, molasses, and increase, increases consumption. Number 13 is labor and cost. So ultimate, ang aim profit is 70% of cost of production is attributed to feeding of animals. So mas ano, mas ano maintain, mas dako, si 70%. Classification Feed and fodder. So, um, general classification of feedstuff is ano, tulo siya ka ano, roughage, concentrate, and additives. So, maguna tayo sa ano, sa roughage. So, ang um, dry roughage is straw or hay. Or hay. So, ang green roughage is succulent. So, ano, sa buto. So, ang leguminous is ano, Bersin, Lucerne, Lucerne, Cowpea, and etc. So, non-leguminous is maize, sor- sorghum, bar- baj- 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 so, ang concentrates is ano, animal sources or siya, meat or ano, meal. So, um, pikas po niya is vegetable sor- sources. So, mga na ang carbon... Carbonaceous, carbonaceous. So, ang um, mauna siya, maize, jowar, tapioca, and barley. So, ang um, proteinaceous, ang uh, proteinaceous is ground nut cake, coconut cake, and etc. So, last is ang um, additives. So, dara siya ang antibiotic, ang um, hormonal, 
mineral supplement o vitamin supplement. So the total dry matter is ano, one third of concentrates and two third of roughage. So ang roughage niya is green roughage ang one third and two third is dry. So ang sa green roughage naman is one fourth legumes and three fourth ang grass. So the difference between concentrate and roughage. So uh, concentrate is 10% moisture and 90% dry matter. So ang um, roughage kay dry dry fodder is 10% moisture and 90% dry matter. So the um, green fodder is 80 to 90% moisture and 10% dry matter. So ang um, concentrate is highly digestible. So crude fiber less than 18%. So ang nutritive value ang uh, unit mass is high. So compact in nature and keeping quality high. So ang roughage kay ano comparatively less digestible. So more than 18% ang ano crude fiber. So low ang niya ang nutritive uh, nutritive value or unit mass so uh, bulky po siya so ang variable niya is dry fodder high green fodder and less or low so low ang quality keeping high quality so common feed ingredients so first sa ano carbohydrate rich concentrates. So, muna siyang maize or corn, barley, oats, sorghum, muna siya, ano po ba? So, bajra, ma'am? Bara. Which one? Bara, ma'am? Ba bajra. Ba so, banda? Sa ano ma'am, carbohydrate rich concentrates ma'am sa sunod sa sorghum ba naman? Ay, bajra. Bajra. Ilan siya lang? Is it mungod kayo? Hindi mungo ka ba lang? So ano? Si ka na lang ma'am. So meal by products like flour or polishings. Polishings. So molasses and roots and tubers. So, um, protein-rich concentrates, kaya, ano, ground nut cake, soya bean meal, lean seed meal, mustard cake, coconut cake, cotton seed cake, sesame meal, pulse protein, uh, sunflower oil meal, and conventional plant proteins, meat meal, meat and bone meal, fish meal, blood meal, so feather meal, and a cherry by product meal. So, ang um, fiber rich concentrate is ano, wheat bran, raw, raw rice bran, and the old, bra, the old rice bran. So, the model composition of concentrates mixture of young and adult stock. So, importance of green fodder production. So India has about 15% of livestock population with only 2% of world's geographic area, geographical area. So the current feed and fodder resources in India can meet only less than 50% of the requirements of livestock population. So the grazing intensity is very high. So 2.6 cattle per unit cattle unit per hectare as against 0 0.8 cattle unit per hectare in development countries. So we are highly deficient in virus livestock production uh, products. Though we have about one-fourth of the total cattle population of the world, 
So the analysis of this situation situation reveals that the one main reason for for the low productivity of our livestock is malnutrition. So undernutrition or both. Besides the low genetic potential of the animals. So the importance of the green fodder. So the green fodder is the primary only source of vitamin A for lactation and vitamin A is present in the form of pre precursor. So money as yang guapo sa ano guys, nagalactate na ano. So the maintenance and function of the mus the mucous membrane. So mo po ni siyang ano importance ang kwans ng green fodder. So next is the is directly related to vision. Next is essential reproduction, A, conception, B, early embryon, embryonic mortality, C, maintenance of pregnancy, D, Placenta. So the next is essential for the so essential in the gastro. Next is essential for the urine. Causes stones in kidney, ureter, and bladder. So during lactation, two thousand. Uh, two thousand IU of vitamin A is eliminated in every liter of milk. It is it is to replenish. So um, next is laxative in action. So next is cheap sources of vitamin A. The source of minerals, crude protein, total digestible nutrients, and dry matter. Next is identified factors. So the carotene content of fodder is A is agati. 18.3 mg and 100 dry matter. B is lucerne is 15.6 mg, 100 dry matter. C is genia grass, 14.2 uh, milligram and 100 dry matter. So the most, the most, uh, desmodium is 7.09 milligram. So more gapon and hundred dry matter gapon. So feed should be available at cows at least twenty hours a day. So feed at least sixty percent of ration during night in the hot weather or summer. So cows will reduce feed intake by about three point three for every two point two rise of temperature over twenty degrees Celsius. So the high producing cow will eat up to 12 meals a day, each averaging 23 minutes. So, hasul po day guys, no? So, water should be available at libitum. So, ano? Last two is, ano? Murag last na ata naman, no? So, have adequate forage production or be reliably vegetative uh, vegetatively propagated and uh, no, have a good nutri nutritive value and reasonable palatability and acceptability to animals. So I guess that's the end. So it's the last topic on under that's under uh, cattle and buffalo management. No? And uh, we're going to have sheep and goat dairy management uh, next meeting. But then we, we just have six minutes left. So next time, please are going to answer sheep and goat management. Speak to them. Uh, zero well. And um, yeah, so we'll just have next week and uh, next week uh, for that.
no? And ikat lang muna natin no kasi mag nasaag pa ta kanina eh. So we are now here and yeah, that's under uh, yeah, under dairy management. So do you have any questions or clarifications? Nan ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, ano ba ko sa 135, ma'am? Okay, so wait lang. Marag na ako yung ano yun. Pwede, marag na ako yung video. Aha. Ano yun? Sa 315, ma'am ba? Humana ba ito, ma'am, no? 315. Um, sa 315, poultry wala. Ang last na ito is, kaso nag, ano mang good, nag-report si Rowell kanina ng something else. Yeah. So um we still have two la last two videos pala no. I don't know dapat next next na niya diretso. So uh you can also watch this later since we have limited time. Uh cattle farming part 2 and this another one. This is ito. Today ni nala na wrong sorry. So, backward. Isa lang siguro ni Kabilio. Uh, or two. Uh, carabao farming ang isa. So, this is another video for carabao farming. But we we don't have much time to watch together. So, please just watch since video lang naman yan. And then, um, cattle and buffalo management. Uh, questions na to. No? Sige. So, do you have any questions or clarification? So, um, skip muna tayo sa poultry ngayon since nag-double report tayo sa 313 ba to? 313. Yeah, tapos dairy tayo. And si Jason pala, no? Um, as si Jason? Wala, si Jason. Uh, yeah, another okay. one. Naputol-putol. Yung mukhang report, ba Sa ano? 313 sa saw and big. Wala pa ito na human, no? So, i-check na ko ang video last time. No, actually, na, nasan yung dashboard? Nakastrace ko na ko ito, ma'am. Ha? Nakastrace ko na ko ito, ma'am. Sa akong report. So, uh, maybe, maybe, Next meeting, or you can also same thing na ano sa so, prepare ni yeah under it's that's under animal health. So actually, sa messages na no, ako gina post inyo hang mga inyo hang mga ano uh, um I mean ang ati mga recordings here. So click lang na ninyo and last time yes up to October twenty three is the last time the animal health na. So, kay Jason yung report. And then, next skip tayo um, kay Kier. Uh, Nag-proceed tayo kay Kier and kay Ruel. So, ang poultry, ang next food na mag-report sa poultry ay si Kita man niyo akong screen, di ba? It's brooding, no? Brooding of cheeks, siya. Sir Argel na po. Okay. So, si Sir Argel na po. Also, si Argel at uh, ano. Supposedly. Yes. Um. Report is about brooding. Ah, uh, tapos na Argel. Wait lang. Ah, tayo siya. Sorry, abi na kong text story si Argel. <laughs> Tangi. So, yun lang naman, no, for the meantime. Yeah. yeah. And um, I hope to see you again next week. Kaya ka muman dyan mag-report. And um, before we end, do you have any questions regarding uh, cattle, buffalo, na topic? Cattle and buffalo housing management? Do you have any questions? So, please watch the video. Um, and again, if you cannot watch the video, talaga na ako na siya, nag-record na siya. So, find time to watch the video. So, I mean the video in this topic, sa cattle and buffalo housing management.
Ah, oh, this one. Kita na mo ane. Kating kani cattle farming and caribou farming. So, mo record bang gusto kipa? Sa kipa ang ano? So, some uh, less than a minute sa so maputol na ta. So, do you have some more concern before we end? Sorry. Okay, thank you, Lance. Uh, thank you, everyone. So, reminding again of your assignments, the Kuiper essays, your laboratory reports, Manapat Laboratory. No, I hope you we did enjoy, no, and and also, ang exam ninyo, i-entry po ninyo yung exam. Um, just don't be so serious. Exercises lang na siya. So, again, thank you very much. Kung naamoy 